also um, demo the D-ball carry. Um, if you haven't got a D-ball, you can use a sandbag. Sandbag may be a bit easier to pick it up, um, but the carry in principle will be the same. For the D-ball, a few things we want to try and emphasize on how we're picking it up is off the floor, it's going to be a deadlift, yeah? So knees bent, chest over. We don't want to try and pick up from this position. We want to use the legs. First position you want to go to is the knees. So use your legs and pull into the knees first, yeah? Once you have the ball into the knees, move the ball into your hips into a squat. I want you to sit in this position for a moment because it's going to help strengthen your squat position as well, yeah? So there's multiple benefits for picking up awkward objects. All of this stuff here happening in ankles, knees coming in, that's all fine, yeah? We're just going to strengthen those awkward positions as well. From there, it's literally a jump, but we want to think about extending your hip, so the same way you do a hip thrust, where you drive the hips forwards, but also we have the ball, so you have to try to get the ball up as well, which will mean you'll go up onto your toes. Okay, so when we pick this ball up on the floor, get it high up on your chest, nice and high. Um, don't lean into your lower back. Keep the weight on your core. So you want to crunch forwards in a hollow hold position as you walk with the ball. That will keep all the weight on the trunk and abdominals.